Your universe is a single cell among the infinite number of my body. Your universe is in disease. It is turgid with time, and exotic matter exceeds its allotted measure, creating imbalance. A rent has appeared in the surface, and excess exotic matter pours out through the rift. Turgid, distended, attenuated, strained to the point of splitting. The proto-druids corrected for that. These ancestors built absorbers into the Gale Gates to compensate for the excess proportion of exotic matter. Where did that excess proportion come from? Kulan didn't know. You move matter by displacing ether from outside the membrane. Of course. How could he have missed that? How could he have known that? The conundrum was like an oxymoron. Two mutually exclusive states existing in perfect harmony together at the same time and in the same space. He did know. The inversion of torsion forces between foliations of space-like hypersurfaces drew an exotic matter from random locations, some of them inevitably beyond the existing universe. All I need to do, he thought, is limit that exotic matter draw to the here and now, and when in equal proportion to the physical matter that it displaces. It seemed so simple that he wondered why he hadn't come up with it before. All isn't so simple, human. And coal was hurled from between two obeliscos onto his backside.
spirit in otherworldly places. Anvin, a Gaelic afterlife, also an underworld, otherworld. Aran, a psychopomp, one who escorts souls to the underworld. Balor, king of the elemental ether. Jin, king of the salamanders, the elemental of fire. Gob, king of the gnomes, the elemental of earth. Gwitin, demon. Idris, demon, god. Leana Wanchi, proto Gaelic for underworld fairy. Nixa, queen of the undines, the elemental of water. Paralda, queen of the sylphs the elemental of air. Tir Nanoch, a Gaelic afterlife. Oh,